it's a good day. Summertime weather is here, and when it's hot, we are looking for something refreshing. So why not put an umbrella in it? That is exactly what will happen Monday at the Wood County Museum. The museum's Marissa is here along with Carrie and Carla of the Summer Kitchen Girls, and they are here to explain what is going on next Monday. So first off, we want to ask you what is actually going to be going on at the Wood County Museum? Well, Monday will be our Put an Umbrella in It tea class that we've partnered with the Summer Kitchen Girls for. So this is more than just a tea party, right? Correct, yes. Uh -huh. It is a like a tea workshop, and people will be able to come in, learn about the tea, learn how to make different mocktails with their tea for really nice, refreshing summer drinks. And this is just one of the many programs that you're going to have here for the summer, right? Yes, yeah. We have a tea workshop series throughout the whole summer. So we have one in June, July, and August, and you'll get to learn different things. Um, this one is more of a mocktail setting. Uh, July's will be a, a was it sugar yeah, tea, chai, chai sugar? scrub and then the one in August um, deals with ice cream. Oh, you got me at that one, but <laughs> I'm already interested. We were talking about tea infusions. So what is tea infusion? <laughs> Um, so it's just creating a drink with your tea. Um, Carrie is going to explain how exactly uh, today's mocktail that we're making is called a bourbon paloma. And we are going to make a simple syrup with our loose leaf Kentucky bourbon tea in it. So um, Carrie can tell you a little bit more on how to do that. And then you can incorporate it into all your drinks that you have this oh, summer. Yeah, so there's lots of things you can do with this, but for a simple syrup, it's simple easy. All you gotta do is add, um, take a medium saucepan and you'll add a cup of water. And then for this recipe, we are doing a half a cup of sugar. You can do, um, uh, half and half if you'd like it sweeter, but we didn't want it overly sweet for today. We wanted it more on the refreshing side. So you'll just take the sugar and water, put it over the heat, medium, and then just stir it until that's dissolved. Then when that's done dissolving, you would take your tea and you can put it directly in there after you removed it from the heat and then let that steep for five minutes. Okay. So then you're going to have your beautiful Kentucky bourbon simple syrup. So you'll want to just strain that because you'll have the leaves in there. So you can put it in a pitcher or container or whatever and just strain the tea leaves out of that. And then you'll have something that looks like this. Wow, that is super yes. simple. Like yes. you said. Yeah. And the thing is, I know mocktails, you know, it's, maybe we just don't want the alcohol. That's not refreshing in the no. summer, maybe weighing you down a little bit. So this is actually no bourbon, though the name says so. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is our base. Yes. I also see that there's a lot of fruit in some cups. So yes. once we have our, our tea, where do we go to next? So then you'll go ahead, you'll need um, a grapefruit and a lemon and you'll want to juice them. And then after you've got them juiced, you will put them in with your bourbon. So if you wanted to make this at home, you would do uh, three tablespoons of your simple syrup. You would do one tablespoon of your grapefruit juice and then a half of teaspoon of your lemon and you'll mix it all in there. Okay. And then you'll take some sparkling water and you'll put in there about half and half is what we do usually when we're putting it into a cup. Oh, okay. So then this obviously then you get multiple servings yes. and you're able to use that. So really it's kind of the tea is the base yes. mm -hmm. and then we use our Paloma ingredients yes. to add that extra to it. Yes. And how does the, the bourbon side, does that, how do you get that into tea? They're totally different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you can even smell this if you like, and I just can smell it from here, but, um, Kentucky bourbon is one that we um, mix together in the store. We get the, it's already flavored, but we just add the right ones to it. Um, it has kind of a malty, vanilla, smoky barrel flavors and smell to it, if you could smell that smokiness. Yeah, I got a lot of the vanilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really yes. what I noticed. Yes. And, there's, and it has like some um, uh, Lapsang Sushong tea, which is a very smoky tea because when they process the tea, they roast it over pine needles. And so it absorbs that smell. It smells like a campfire. Uh, so a little bit of that makes just it... Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit can really change the flavors yeah. of tea. Yeah, and what are some of the other drinks that we're able to make this summer using different varieties of tea? And can we even just use 
basic teas like Earl Grey even? Absolutely. Oh, yes. You could do a, a latte and just chill some uh, milk and put in there with that. Uh, for Wood County, we're going to be doing a peachy keen um, where we use uh, some peach tea and then we're also going to be doing a blue moon mojito and then we're also going to be doing a, a sangria which is one of the easiest ones to do. You can just cold brew a tea and then throw fruit in it and then it just kind of absorbs those flavors and then you can serve it. And it's just really refreshing and light for the summer. Yes, I was going to say this is a game changer for the summer season yes. to where you can go and have a couple of glasses of this kind of cool down. I know Stephen was asking on the ice component. So let's talk about you steep the tea. Should we let that cool for maybe a little bit? Should I prep it ahead of time? How should I make sure it's nice and refreshing? So if you were making this drink, we would take it after we added the juice and things, then you can either use it right away because we will add ice later to that. Or if you have your company coming later in the evening and you wanted to prep that ahead of time, just throw it in the refrigerator and then pull it out and then put your sparkling water in before you serve it. So Okay, I was going to say, could I have a glass? Absolutely. Absolutely. So we'll go ahead and do this. All right. So you want to have room enough to get the ice in there. Okay, I feel like I need an umbrella. You totally need Should an I umbrella. Should I use some fruit or something to garnish? So what you could do is you could peel a little lemon wedge and then put it off to the side. Ah, I think this looks beautiful. Yeah, Almost too it. beautiful to drink. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Okay, let's take a sip. Oh, that is very interesting. <laughs> Um, because you have kind of those warm, smoky flavors that you said, mm -hmm. but also the refreshing, the fruit, and kind of those zesty things. So again, remind us when this course is going to be. This will be uh, Monday, June 12th at 6 p.m. Uh, we do still have some tickets available on our website at woodcountyhistory.org. All right. So yeah, make sure you catch that at 6 to 7 o'clock on Monday. Thank you, ladies, for joining me this Thank morning. Thank you.